excellent. Y'all, that's the word that God has been putting in my spirit. Today is now the second day where he began to say, excellent, excellence. So I hopped in the word of God because I'm like, okay, where are you going with this? What are you saying? So y'all, in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 27 through verse 31, it says, Now ye are the body of Christ, and members in particular. And God has set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Are all workers of miracles? Have all the gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? And verse 31, y'all says, But covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. Think about the gifting that God has placed upon your, your life. Think about the skill. Think about the talent that he has placed within you. And begin praying. God, show me how to operate in a spirit of excellence concerning my gift, concerning my calling, concerning the anointing that you have placed within me. I want to let you know there's a more excellent way to do it. The Bible says, he says, yet I show unto you a more excellent way. So you may have a gifting, a calling that you have been working in or flowing in a specific area. For a long part of your life, for many, many, many seasons, many, many years, but begin praying. God, show me how to operate in excellence. Show me how to maximize the calling that's upon me. Show me how to walk in excellence, right? And we are not striving to be like other people. We are not in competition. We are not busy comparing ourselves to other people. We are walking in a spirit of excellence in the direct calling, skill, gifting, talent that God has placed within us. We are not striving to be like anybody else because that's a waste of time. Strive to walk in a spirit of excellence in the gifting that God has placed up on you. Begin to say, God, show me a new way to do it. Show me the way. That's going to place me right in the path for the things, for the callings, for the desires that you have for my life. Show me how to do it in a spirit of excellence, right? We don't want to be stale in our giftings. We don't want to run into dead ends. We don't want to run into seasons that are unfulfilling, unyielding. You know, sometimes people deal in seasons that are not bringing about a harvest, seasons where they are not seeing growth, seasons where they are not seeing change. You want to walk in a season of excellence. That means, God, everything I do, let it bring you glory. Everything I do, let your favor be upon it. Let your anointing be upon it. Let your hand, God, be upon my gift. What has God called you to do? Are you doing it? And are you doing it in a spirit of excellence, right? Are you worried about what other people are doing? Are you stuck in a mindset of what other people are doing or how they are flowing or how they are maximizing their gift? Mm -mm. Get in the spirit of excellence. Do it the way that God has called you to do it. Only you can walk in the anointing that God has given you. Only you can fulfill the calling that's upon your life, right? There may be others that have that same gifting. But I want to tell you today, can't nobody do it like you. Can't nobody wear the anointing that God has placed upon you like you can. Can't nobody walk it out like you can. The Bible says, yet I show unto you. A more excellent way. God is saying, I'm going to give you instruction. I'm going to give you strategy. I'm going to give you a word of victory. I'm going to show you, right? He is saying, hey, I'm going to lay it out. I'm going to give you the blueprint of excellence. I'm going to show you how to maximize, right? How to fulfill the calling that's on your life. Don't seek to do it like others. Do it the way that God called you to do it. Can't nobody beat you being you, right? Can't nobody wear the calling that's upon you better than you can. Do it in the spirit of excellence. Pray for excellence and maximize your gifting in excellence.
God has called you and he has made no mistakes. You are not a mistake. Walk in a spirit of excellence in the area 